someday I wish the GoPro would decide where the hill that, how long have I had this thing and I still haven't figured out which button does what I just spent like five minutes talking to a camera that wasn't recording <laughs> should be normal for me shouldn't it oh well then <laughs> let's rewind welcome to lifestyles of the strange and exotic they should only be like one button on a camera haul. So, went through a tiny little haul from ye old Will from ye old past from last year. So, <laughs> last year's stuff should be in this year's thing. So, starting over at half off is this lovely sweater that was, you know, waved in front of a rabbit to say that it was considered cashmere because it's like 8% cashmere but I, I got it because I like the fact you know, that it's a very thin sweater it's not like the big poofy kind so it's good for that you know bipolar weather we have where it's like 40 one day and 20 the next day and 80 the next day we just can't figure it out so at least you'll have one piece of clothing that you can kind of <laughs> work in those gray areas and this is a men's from Sebastian Cooper Cotton cashmere blend. Modern fit. So what's like past fit? I think it's already covered in you, Cameron. I don't know, but I like the whole Argyle sock look. I just I just liked I liked everything about it. And it should be quite comfy. And I like the colors. I like the red. Of course. Ugh. And I think this was like two or three dollars, because I can't remember what the long sleeve shirts were. But it was half off. I mean, half off. And the next thing I was gushing over was a t-shirt, which the t-shirts are $2, and I love this thing. It's just so me. I don't know if the band is a, there's a band called Affliction, or if it's just the fact that I am afflicted. <laughs> I don't know. But I like the tie-dye and the colors. And this is the back. Is that not freaking awesome? Wouldn't that make, like, the most awesome tattoo ever? <sighs> Like a tribal phoenix. And it's a very light shirt. It's very thin. It's very soft. Very beautiful. And it smells nice. It doesn't smell like thrift store. It smells like laundry. <laughs> so thank you whoever washed this. But there's no like information other than like, you know, machine wash and light colors. So I don't know who made this. Or anything about it. It's just so awesome you just have to like not care. <laughs> and I kind of like the, the way the bottom is. It's kind of, not quite wrinkly is the word, but just, it's kind of got that, you know, frayed kind of look. It's just overtly awesome. And it is mine. Now, to the point I was trying to make when I realized my camera wasn't recording, <laughs> was the fact that my grandmother's birthday and Christmas is all, like, in like the end of the year and I had already given her presents so I'm not sure if I should like maybe I'll save it for like grandparents day or something that's like an excuse to give it to her but I saw this and it reminded me of like both of them both Grace and Grandma and I picked this up and this was a half off at like two bucks two two fifty yeah because it's like three ninety nine now and it's just a pocketbook kind of in the style like she used to have not very wide though, but then she doesn't carry, you know, <laughs> but loads of stuff like I do. Made in China from Bentley. Sounds familiar. And it's it's typically grandma. <laughs> so it, it should fit her properly. And it's similar to the one she's got, so and that was one that came from Grace you know, so they interconnected there. But it's seen better days. So she can have a new purse. That's the reason I picked that up. I mean, it's, it's nice in a grandma sort of way. But this one, I got for myself. <laughs> you know if I'm floating around the bags that I'm going to come home with one. Yeah. And I had kind of eyeballed these ones on Amazon, just because I like ogling things on Amazon. And I like the messenger bags. But I was kind of looking for, like, the military style. Mm. And lo, they had one with the strap still attached, which amazed me. Mm. The only thing I don't, you know, like about a lot of them is the fact there's like no zip. There's no like real security. 
and this is from Mos Mosimo Supply Company. Is that Walmart or Kmart? Walmart, I think. I don't remember I've seen these there. But <laughs> I don't quite understand the whole, you know, hunter orange here. Not not very military. I mean, if you're in camo, why would you have the... I, I don't know, I'm not a hunter. <laughs> that makes sense. And you got your actual working pockets in the front here with the same lovely eye blinding orange. And uh, I kind of wished it was a buckle and not one of these snaps, but the snap does seem to have a lot of pretty good hold. You know, it's just that technical part I'm not too keen with. I do like the handle. Then I suppose if you're carrying it like this, it's a moot point anyway, right? And I was kind of wondering, you know, <laughs> if I could find like you know, military style patches to kind of put on to make it more punk. So, that that was for me. <laughs> and it's about the right size for, you know, if I want to use it as a purse type thing, so it should fit my, my stuff and crap and do flickies. Ow. See, that, that is the good thing that the, the magnet is really kind of powerful. Except, well, if, at least if you're pull, pulling it in that thing. And you only have the one little bitty pocket here. Oh, oh I lied. <laughs> Very heavy to hold up, actually. There's a couple of little dinky pockets in the lining for, like, your phone and a pencil. There we go. Can you see it? It's in camel. Maybe that's why, why the orange, so... You know, so camouflage you'd have to, you know. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Those are heavy after a while. So, that is my super exciting technical <laughs> issue problem haul. And I I filmed like three, four, five like this is my sixth video and I'm gonna try redoing another one now that yeah, I can actually verbalize. Uh, you know, why do you pick it when I'm always on just one butt cheek? Ouch. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.